Hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absolute Care Health Clinic. Today we're going to talk about vitamin D. Um, it's uh, very controversial with the vitamin D and the required levels. Um, in 2014, some research came out and they said that the levels that we were being told that were normal are actually very, very low. So vitamin D is essential for every human being. We need it for our immune system. We need it for our hormones and it also plays a role with cholesterol. So, you know, for my position as a trichologist, I see a lot of deficiencies relating to um, physical hair loss, meaning it disturbs the hair cycle when the vitamin D is so low. Uh, it also contributes to male pattern thinning and female pattern thinning, and it also plays a part when we have lowered immunity, all these things called autoimmune. So if we're talking about the immune system, we want to make sure in these days that our immunity is maximized. So you really need to know, one, what is your vitamin D level? And two, you need to be up to date with the latest research. So let's just use some figures um, in Australia. So here in Australia, the recommended range of sufficiency is 130 to 150, whereas still on some of the blood test forms I see from pathology, they say you're fine if you're above 49. So I'm finding a lot of people 100 points lower than what they need to be. Uh, so you need to one, get your tests done. It is covered by Medicare and any doctor should be testing your vitamin D as requested. If you are taking vitamin D, you also need to test. So one is knowing your number and then two is taking the right dose. So just say you are 150, we always go to, you know, the average is around 150. You need to consume 4,000 international units per day from what we call safe sunshine, okay? And then we can also get it from organic eggs and wild caught fish or the good old fashioned cod liver oil if you so like it. Okay, so we find a lot of the time we do need to supplement but people are not taking enough. So we ask you to test, let me know what your results are and then we can choose. So some of the supplements we can use is a 1,000 international unit, but people are taking one a day. Remember, RDI is 4,000 a day. So just say your vitamin D is down at 40 and you need to be at 150, you need a lot more than 1,000 a day. We may use a 5,000 international unit supplement depending on what your numbers are. We might use two of them if it is that low or we have a severe case of autoimmune condition. And we also have a liposomal meaning it's an oral so we're getting it into the body in a different way it's quite tasty and i've had great success working around um, these different products based on your individual levels we always make sure that it's absorbing as well because it's one thing to take a supplement particularly a fat soluble vitamin d but your body needs to be absorbing it as well so that's where we help you we make sure you keep testing you're taking the right supplement at the right time in the right dose there's also a great research or resource book is vitamin d an essential guide um, you probably heard me talk about philip day before the book is from credence publications all the research is in there it's super interesting and i have also written um, a big article about it in our september 2021 newsletter and I've given you a lot of different links through so you can see the research and the up-to-date numbers for yourself. So essentially, I'm here to help you with your hair loss, hair thinning and scalp conditions. Definitely deficiencies and supplements play a role. Just one last interesting thing, vitamin D um, is required to have the proper range of ferritin as well. So for all of my female clients with low ferritin, we have to maximize your vitamin D as well. So any questions, uh, you want help with your hair loss and scalp concerns, you can email me. It's info at absolute.com.au.